So in this video, I'm going to show you how I work with vertical video in Final Cut Pro 10. I did one with iMovie and you can click over here to see that video with iMovie. But Final Cut Pro 10 is a little bit better and you can get some better results. Now, I'm not changing the video. I'm not going to rotate it and do some other crazy stuff. All I'm going to do is put two videos down. I'm just going to hit OK. There's a lot of people uh, shoot vertical videos, unfortunately, on cell phones. And I get this all the time. So you see this on news a lot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the bottom layer first. Then I'm going to make sure I click here. This is my uh, panel. If you don't see it, it's called Transform. So make sure this is yellow and make sure Transform is highlighted. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this over here. And then you can either take it from there or you can hit the Scale button. All right, I'm just going to hit Scale. And I'm going to move this over. And I'm going to make this about 12%. You'll see why in a second. All right. Then I'm going to take this right here, this video here, then I'm going to move that over as well. I'll put that there and then I'm going to hit scale and I'm going to scale that over there. Just move that over. All right. So if I have this video, that is, um, I'm just seeing it 258%. And let's see the other video just to make sure. That's a 258. Let's see what this one is. 309. So let's just dial that in to 258. So I'm going to have both the videos the same size. All right. So both of the videos are the same size. So then what I'm going to do here is go ahead and put a Gaussian blur on both of the videos. All right. Gaussian blur. That's under effects. And then I'm going to make sure I turn the sound down on both videos. Or if I don't turn the sound down, I would just uh, take this with no audio. Then the third step, I'm going to put this video on the very top layer. All right. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to move the other two videos over so they at least look halfway decent. And you can see a little bit of her. And let's look at this as a fit. So let's go back here. Let's go down to this video. And does this look familiar when you see this on the news? You see somebody with a video. And remember, I need to start all the videos at the same at the same point. So that's uh, my fault if I didn't start them. So let's make sure they're all starting at the same point. So I'm just gonna make sure they're all there because they're all 16 seconds in length. So you see, I turned down. So let's watch. Okay, so you see her doing her exercise, and then she's gonna talk here see something happening but at least the Gaussian blur and I left the Gaussian blur at 50 percent you can do it more if you want you don't want to see more or less you know you can put it 93 percent I just left it at 50 or 60 then once you see it I'm Kenita, so and I'm taking the 30 day challenge will you all right so that's how you make a video and then you can just export this as 1080p and it came down on the timeline that way Anyway, because that's how it was shot with a cell phone. So I make sure I put these two layers down first. Then I make sure I enlarge them to at least 250 some percent. And then I make sure I put a Gaussian blur and put her in the middle and go from there. If you have any questions, always hit us up at webvideoshefts.com. Take care.